She is in the hospital right now. Neighbors here tell me the car went airborne before slamming into these vehicles here, then flipping over just feet away from where young children were sleeping inside a bedroom. I heard a big old boom and I said to myself, Lord, I hope nobody didn't die. Al Hodson immediately jumped out of his bed early Sunday morning when he heard a car screeching and slamming into something. Well, we don't have a vehicle. It's just destroyed. That something was Angela Beecham's car. Here's a picture of the aftermath. The woman hit two more cars as she rolled over. From what I hear, when she topped the hill, she was already running 100. Beecham and other tenants of this apartment building all had their cars destroyed in this driveway. Beecham says she could see liquor bottles in her car and pills on the side of the road. She just couldn't breathe. She was gasping for air. She just really gasping for air. Residents say the cars in the driveway actually stopped the woman from crashing into their home where young children were asleep. She came right into the kitchen and our, our kitchen probably would have fell down on top of his. That's how fast she was going. She just, her car stopped here. And those neighbors tell me the woman had to be extricated out of her car after hitting this pickup here. Again, she is in the hospital with serious injuries. We're live near 57th and Keefe tonight. Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News.